So my fifth and final tip for you to help your child to thrive as they start their school journey is actually all focused around you. Here's the thing. The last few months have been an absolute roller coaster for us as parents and carers. Whether you've had financial concerns or job concerns or healthcare concerns, there's been a lot of worry and anxiety around us. And so returning to some kind of new normal is also gonna present us with some new emotions. Maybe you're feeling worried about your little one starting school. Maybe you don't even really want them to go back. Maybe you're not gonna send them back. The key thing here is that we are cognizant of and we appreciate and respect our own feelings and emotions about wherever you might be on that journey. One of the ways that you can really help yourself here is to talk. Talk to your partner or a friend or perhaps another mum or carer who's in the same position as you. But don't hold these emotions and these feelings, whatever they might be, inside. And remember, there's no such thing as a right or a wrong emotion when it comes to this topic or, in fact, any topic. Whether you're feeling nervous and worried about your child starting school or maybe you're feeling excited about getting some kind of routine back in your life, all emotions are valid and all emotions are okay. But it is important to talk about them so that you're effectively processing them. When we just hold emotions up in our brains, They can store up and they can do crazy things that don't make us feel great. Getting our emotions out, on the other hand, can make us feel amazing and like we're not alone anymore. Self-care is health care. And I don't want you as a parent or carer to stop yourself from taking the time that you need to talk about your emotions and look after you. The reality is our children absolutely 100% pick up on our our feelings about a situation and they use that in part to think about how they feel about a situation. So if you are feeling worried or anxious or nervous about them going back to school, just be really aware of that, talk about that, because the chances are your child will have picked up on it through your tone of voice or through overhearing a conversation you've had. And that's okay, but it's important that we're aware of that so we can do something positive with that. So look after yourselves, talk to a friend, and don't forget that looking after you is actually all about looking after them. I hope you've really enjoyed this five-part series. If you want to come and hang out on My Happy Mind, Instagram or Facebook, I will be there to welcome you and say hi. But I wish you and your family all of the best as your child starts this next and exciting phase of their journey. 